Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. It's going to be mostly gun material. Oh, cool. Yeah, because some, some people were asking here. Uh, Len Holt wants to know if you have coronavirus jokes or is it too soon? And then Keith Greg it's never too soon. <laughs> Keith, no. Keith Gregory <laughs> says, ask him his favorite gun joke. So, um, so I have a really stupid coronavirus joke. Okay. Want to hear yeah, it? Yeah, let's hear it. Sure. Let's hear it. This is comedy. A, this is comedy. Someone who writes, someone who writes comedy, see, like stuff that goes in my act or that I try actually try on stage, you know, it goes in my phone and I, you know, work on it privately, but I have all these jokes that just get churned up, you know, just in the process of looking for good jokes mm -hmm. that I just like torture my comedian friends with. And this is one of okay. those. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> like, I would never tell this on stage, but mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, did you guys hear about the uh, that new strain of the coronavirus down in Mexico? No. Did you guys hear about no, it? No, no, it no, apparently, no. it only affects like it only affects your eyes, eye corona. <laughs> Dad jokes. It's a dad joke. Oh, I love dad jokes. <laughs> That's a dad joke. Yeah, you need to do a book of dad jokes. Yeah. I write so many of those. Like, I've got this friend, uh, one, probably one of my best, if not my best, the best friend I have in comedy. Mm -hmm. And he's like this ultimate comedy nerd, right? So, like, jokes like that, like, he's such a connoisseur of comedy that, that jokes like that, like, actually hurt his brain. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> uh, the other day I got him, I was like, I tell you about my friend that works at a uh, at a farm, and he's like, he falls for this stuff every time too. It's like, I got this friend that works at a farm and uh, works at a, a beet farm, and I was like, never tell you about him. He's like, no, no. It's like, yeah, he um, he's in charge of uh, like once they pick all the beets, he's in charge of uh, packaging them, uh, you know, rounding them up, and then you know, packaging them up uh, for distribution. They they call him the beat boxer. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> got so bad. You, <laughs> got so bad. did you have you guys heard about the the uh, patient um, who went to his doctor wearing cellophane pants? No, cellophane oh. pants. Okay. <laughs> doctor looked at him and said, "I can clearly see your nuts." <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna this is going. <laughs> yeah, this is yeah. I know, I know, I know. This is gonna go downhill real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna... I'll tell you who's great. Hey, you so... don't have to worry about me. I'm out of that joke thing, so you know. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep loading mags. I'm sure all. you're gonna have some jokes, Walter. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have some jokes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta look up uh, Norm Macdonald's uh, like Tonight Show appearances, mm -hmm. like like when he's on the couch, not mm -hmm. when he's like doing stand up. Oh, he's funny, man. He... Yeah. Oh, he's so funny, and he always like takes like street jokes, like like old jokes that right there, like everyone knows from like for. Who knows how long ago? Mm -hmm. And he'll take them and like normize them, and like mm -hmm. make take like a simple joke and then make it like really long to where mm -hmm. you're like, where the hell is this going? And then mm -hmm. it ends in this like stupid pun. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. you. You feel like you're walking around in circles. I like Norm Macdonald, and there's a series of videos on YouTube about this of him flirting with like super hot starlets on that couch. Yeah. It's amazing. It shows you the power of comedy that you can be yeah. a very unattractive man. But if you can make a superstar chick laugh, you're good. Yeah. You're good. You look at those things, you're like, oh, Norm was all the way in that night. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, he's the best in yeah. the game at that. Yeah. I mean, he just he oozes funny. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, have you seen, uh, he has a funny thing on the coronavirus. It was like, yeah, normally does not ever post his stand-up online unless it's something he's, like, professionally putting out. Mm -hmm. Um but he, uh, his last set, I guess, before everything shut down, it was at the Improv, I think, in California. And you can mm -hmm. find it on, on YouTube, and he's just, like, riffing. It's clearly, like, not anything prepared. He's, like, riffing about the coronavirus and mm -hmm. all this stuff. It's it's really funny mm -hmm. to check it out. Yeah. Norm MacDonald, very funny man. That's, you know, I don't know, um, like, depends on the age group of the folks out there. But, um, I, you know what? I actually. I like every age group. Like him, yeah, I think so. But I actually like the older comedy before everything got politically correct. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, political yeah. correctness is kind of like messed up comedy. 
Where nobody is safe. Yeah. Nobody. Now you've got to yeah, apologize I'm... for stuff like, you know, like Eddie Murphy's got to apologize for stuff he said in the 80s that we everyone no, laughed to. Everyone laughed to. Yeah. No, you don't. That's the yeah. problem. You don't apologize for that. No, I, I agree with you. You shouldn't apologize for it. That's a time capsule yeah. of the times we were living in back then. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I now, now, now it's this kind of uh, this kind of dumbed down comedy and a lot of things mm-hmm. where you're scared to say things about mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. You know, I have this uh, this joke I used to do about uh, Sandy Hook. Okay. It, was like, <laughs> it didn't work. Gun guys are gonna appreciate it, I think, but it, like it, 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 like it would either like do really well, or it would like, like cricket and <laughs> holy fall flat. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, I won't do like the whole thing. But basically, the idea is like. Uh, you know, after the Sandy Hook shooting, which obviously was one of the worst, you know, things, one of the worst massacres like that we've ever experienced in this country, and want to see that stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think some of the ideas were bad. You know, like um, the families filed lawsuits against the uh, company that made the rifle that was used mm-hmm. in, uh, in that shooting, which I never understood because, from what I saw, the rifle did what it was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or it's worked. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Why you? Yeah. Okay. It's a quality rifle, you know. I don't yeah. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, it's the well. See, so we know it worked too well. Not the problem. Yeah, we know as gun guys, it's not the it's not the rifle or it's not the thing. It's the person behind it, right. and you can take anything exactly. and turn it around. But yeah, I think everyone out there doesn't uh, get that or understand that. But um, when it comes to creativity, and definitely comedy falls in the category of art creativity. Um, we need this. We need this kind of stuff to help to help us laugh at things that are even painful. That are dark. Yeah. 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 Now you can make you can make paintings of you know like Jesus getting peed on and all this all these kind of weird weird things that these artists do. These mm-hmm. artists do, and that's art. Now that's right. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but if you say something about somebody or some group, then you're a bad person. Bad. Yeah. Person. yeah. Well, if you're trying to be creative, I think you should just not worry about being politically correct. Uh, I don't know if Lily Singh still has a. First of all, I don't watch the late night stuff uh, because I don't have regular TV, really. But I, I. But I don't know if you guys know this. Like, so Lily Singh. Do you know who that is, John? She was a uh-huh. YouTube comedian. Um, wasn't she like Superwoman? That was her YouTube thing. And then she actually got a, a night, sh- one of those nighttime shows. And I think it was either canceled or is about to be canceled. It didn't do that well because she's super SJW. Yeah. You know, and yeah. no one wants to see that. And I think also. No, yeah, nobody wants it. Yeah, if you do look at the stand up stuff that we're getting at night now compared to the zero, the early zeros, the 90s, the 80s, and stuff like that, now I, I can predict it. If I if I put that thing on, it, they're going to be bashing mm-hmm. Trump. So whether that's all they do. Yeah, whether you like him or not, at some point it gets to be like, really, this is yeah, it's lost its uh, entertainment value. When there's, it's, it's, it's so funny too when there's so much comedic stuff going on with the people that they support. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, so let's pick on the guy that. Just, yeah. Anyways, you know the story. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I follow uh, Comedy Central stand up on Instagram. They have like a specific stand up instagram page mm-hmm. and god like just go there and look sometime like almost every single one of them there occasionally you'll see someone that's good on there but almost all of them it's like they're not even jokes that they're just saying progressive mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. that progressives agree with mm-hmm. and it's not even a, it's like where there's no joke here what is, what is going on you know yeah it's really wild yeah i don't see how that I, I think if you compare it back to the heyday of eddie murphy all those kind of guys um from from back in the days, Norm Macdonald and all that. It was equal opportunity. So you took like so if you were yeah. if you went to work that day, you were living your life or whatever, and this was in the news, whether you agreed with it, liked it, didn't like it or whatever, you you would know that they would somehow deal with that in a funny way, versus mm-hmm. like no, I'm gonna t- if I turn on the TV, they're gonna be going after Trump to show how stupid or, he is or what, what, whatever's going on there, you or know. or shitting on the country. Yeah. Like, a lot of comedians like to shit on the U.S., you know. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, you know, and you're the, the only reason you can say what you can say is because you live here. If right. you tried, if you tried that stuff, try that stuff in Iran or Cuba. See how far you last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. we don't want to be also, those places like, either. Uh-huh. To me, comedy is like if you're trying to be 
edgy. It's supposed to be like brave to a certain degree, but like mm-hmm. these real progressive comedians act like the things they say are brave. Mm-hmm. Like it's not it's not brave to trash America or to like trash white people or all like everyone. Right, right. The, the, the white not, folk are now the uh, you know they were the I hate to say it, we're the enemy of the of the nation. I guess we'll, mm-hmm. to a lot of people and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, it's else? like a, it's a weird topic because I hate like you feel like you're some sort of like, you know, alt right sympathizer when you even address it. But it's like, you know, I'm not I don't get offended if people make fun of white people. Mm-hmm. But why is that considered <laughs> uh, brave or like clever just mm-hmm. be, you know yeah. just because you're doing it? Like it's too. So easy. I don't think so, any uh, of us should get offended if anyone makes fun of who we are. If depending on where the um, how can I put it? What's the intention behind that? So if the intention right. behind that is to be vicious and hurtful and, 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 you know, push a button on you and get you going, of course, that you know, that's terrible. But if the intention behind that is to humanize us all and show like, OK, so if you're if you're making fun of someone for being black or white or woman or whatever, man, whatever it is to show how at the end of the day we're all the same, then that's a completely different thing. Right. You know, absolutely. Um, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's why it's not funny. You know, there, there, there's, there's certain things you can talk about and make fun of all day long, and then if you make fun of somebody, and they happen to be black, then all of a sudden you're racist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not equal. I'll tell you what I found mm-hmm. is what's really interesting is like if you do jokes that are about race that touch on race. Mm-hmm. Um, because I've done, I've done plenty of those. And if you do them in front of a black crowd, they're on board, mm-hmm. right? Cause I'm not, I'm not racist. So mm-hmm. the joke is mm-hmm. not going to be racist. Mm-hmm. You know, I understand jokes enough to where I know what, I know what I'm saying with the joke. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. if you do it in front of a black crowd, they're fine. They're on board with it. Cause mm-hmm. they can tell if you're racist or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The yeah. Problem they know if it's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, white liberal crowds because they don't know. They don't hey, know. How could race, you? They feel like it could be. How could you say that about somebody? How could you do that? <laughs> yeah. I'm offended. Yeah. yeah. So, do you get into that same kind of trouble when you're doing like gun jokes? Um. Well, I've tried a lot of different gun jokes, and there mm-hmm. are only certain ones that are actually in my act, mm-hmm. and that's because they work, you know, for all the crowds that I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yes and no. Mm-hmm. Like the ones that are in my act, not really, because they're just just. You know they're pretty universal, like, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, some of them probably that I've tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So, um, and then being in Tennessee, you're probably not running into a lot of problems with that. What happens when you go like outside of Tennessee, or do you uh, run well, into those well, issues Nashville's in Tennessee? Very, yeah, Nashville's very liberal. Oh, yeah, okay, Nashville's. okay. Oh yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, so like most of, um, you know, that's one reason I'm like kind of pr- the gun jokes that I do have in my act. I'm I'm very proud of those because they I do them in front of liberal audiences mostly and they mm. and they work really well mm. and uh is that that took me a, a long time to, to you know to crack that nut you know what i mean okay uh, <laughs> and, yeah, and the liberal audience is definitely some nuts <laughs> um, um ask and next time you're in front of a liberal audience ask them if they tried to get a gun during the uh, coronavirus outbreak and yeah. did they learn about background checks and stuff yeah I think of that yeah yeah but see, also, you know, so the same along the same lines of what we're saying, what would be funny to me is actually making fun of gun guys. I would like to see you do jokes about making fun of gun guys, right? You know, because yeah, and that, that is a little bit I, of what uh, kind of what part of my act is. Like, right. it's like I sort of, uh, you know, there's certain things I like. Like I sort of like let them think that I, I sort of am the guy that I look like a little bit, mm-hmm. but also I'm not. And I sort of that put that back and forth. Like I am the guy you think, but then I'm not. I mm-hmm. am. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's sort of like how my act works right now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I do want to write some stuff. Yeah. Some stuff like that. Like it's sort of like um, of course he got he sort of canceled himself. But that John Chris guy, you know, if you know, he's like a he's like a famous church a comedian it's not a circuit that i know much about but okay. a friend of mine used to open for him mm-hmm. and uh, that was sort of his thing is he would he was a religious guy but he would make fun of church and church people church, church people but he did it in a from but he did it from like a perspective of being you know in their group right mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. it wasn't like hateful because he is a church guy you know yeah it's like the church the church lady from saturday night live yeah <laughs> right yeah because there's a lot so, yeah, there's funny that stuff thing, that we right. do as gun guys we're fun we do great we do crazy stuff well, you want to do some crazy stuff? Get, run around looking for ammo like you're like you're 
Like it's the end of the world coming up. That, 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 I, I'm going to tell you, there's no legitimate guys running around like that for um, looking for ammo. No legitimate gun guys, yeah. in my opinion. I'm not saying there's not gun guys out there try looking at ammo. At this point, though, if you're out shopping for ammo, you're not going to get the prices that you're used to. Yeah. So I, I'll I don't say see you, gun guys. Well, the funny part is now gas, gas are, they're trying to give away gasoline now. Yeah, gas is and, cheap. And, and ammo is crazy. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, I say buy some extra gasoline. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.